Big things are happening at Household of Faith in Benton, Arkansas. Most of you know by now that they have purchased uh, nine acres of land about 10 minutes from where the sanctuary is in Benton, Arkansas. It will no longer be in the uh, Benton city limits, but not too far away, and they'll have more freedom to do what they want to do as the Lord directs. So uh, all I can say is that we notice a, uh, a skip in Pastor Step. He is very excited about this. And uh, during the 6 2 24 pray service, he begins with a song called God is God, a rocking number, fancy on the piano. And uh, those who say, oh, well, his vocals are just a mere shadow of what they used to be. Oh, look what God is doing. You may be surprised. We're going to play that song. And uh, I think uh, I think you'll enjoy it if you haven't heard it already. The only thing is, though, it kind of reminds us of another song. Another song. And that reminded me of what happened to George Harrison in the 70s when he released what would become his signature solo song, My Sweet Lord. I like the song very much, except for the uh, references to Krishna at the end. I would change that to uh, Father, Father, Jesus, Jesus, Holy Spirit. That That's just me. Uh, but at the time, uh, George was very influenced by the Hare Krishna faith. So he releases the song, and it's becoming a big hit fast. And then the owners of a song called He's so fine, said, whoa, wait a minute. He took our song. He took the music to our song. He's so fine. My sweet Lord, my sweet Lord. Sounds a little bit too much like, he's so fine. Wish he were mine. And so they sue George Harrison, and it goes to court. I don't believe there was a jury. The judge was a musician, though. And for his ruling, he says, Mr. Harrison, I know you didn't intentionally do this, but subconsciously you remembered he's so fine, and you knew that it worked, and you used it. So I have to find you guilty. I have to uh, render a judgment for the writers of He's So Fine. George Harrison wrote a song about that experience. It's called This Song, but that's a whole other story. So when I listened to God is God, I thought, and some of my viewers picked this out too, I thought, whoa, that, that does remind me of another song. In fact, Elvis's first big hit in 1954. I speak of Elvis Presley, 1954, That's All Right, Mama, written by Arthur Crudup in the 1940s. But Elvis had a pretty good hit with it before Heartbreak Hotel came along. Now, what uh, God is God uh, is not is a parody song. It's not a parody song. It's not a funny uh, uh, rendition of a classic song uh, like when Weird Al Yankovic turned My Sharona into My Bologna or like a version into uh, like a surgeon cutting for the very first time. Al was instrumental in getting legislation passed to make it okay to do a parody without having to pay the person who wrote the original song. Uh, So Gangster's Paradise is one thing, but when Al did Amish Paradise, he could do that without having to pay to do it. Uh, But this is different. This is taking a song, keeping it a serious non-parody song, and uh, changing up the lyrics. Now, you could say it's not exactly alike, and there's different chords here and there, but I think there would be enough that if it ever went to court, the same thing uh, could happen uh, to Bob, that, 
happen to uh, George, except the difference here is I think uh, Bob has total permission to use the song and to to alter it, to alter it. Um, so we're going to listen to that now. Listen to uh, how he gives all the glory to Jesus in this song. That's what he's about. Why shouldn't we have a beautiful showcase for Jesus? Why do we have to make junk for God? No, uh, it all depends on where the pastor's mindset is at. And uh, he is of the mindset, I believe, to always put Jesus Christ uh, first. Will the new sanctuary be called Household of Faith? I don't know. I came up with my own title, <laughs> King of Kings Church, because Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But that's just my pick. That's just my pick. So let's listen to that uh, great rocking song right now. Now, maybe eventually uh, uh, Pastor Bob will get away from the piano get up and sing and he could have someone fill in on the uh, piano maybe somebody named i don't know glenn could happen let's listen y'all want to stand with us sing better if you stand
Join us in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas for the first annual George Magazine Live, August 10th and 11th, with special guests Richie Minervini, John B. Wells, Amanda Grace, Pastor Bob Joyce, Donay Clement, Juanita Broderick, Scott McKay, Andre Popa, and special online appearance by Dave Blade, the CEO of George Magazine, with your musical guest Bella Popa and me. Come on, join us Sunday for a free Sunday service as well with Pastor Bob Joyce. It's George Magazine Live, August 10th and 11th. Find out more at George Magazine Live. <laughs> 